Okay. They pay cash for it. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Yep. That's so we do everything because it's a great business model. It's fantastic. And like we bake everything. So like um our milk that we use for our cakes, we don't buy it. Like I actually buy the oats and you know, water is free. So I make my own oat milk, you know. So what? That's genius. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We actually make our own applesauce because if you make your own applesauce, it's a lot cheaper than buying applesauce. And and applesauce is not just apples because, you know, now that we have our manufacturing license, we actually see what the FDA allows food manufacturers to not list on the food products. So, right. So, yeah, to not list, right. It's not required to list on there. So when, yeah, so when you buy food from the grocery store and you see the ingredients list, that's not everything. That's just what's required. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why I'm really trying to get somewhere where I can own my own property. Cause I really, I'm, I'm, I'm yes. like, I want to grow. grow food. Yes. I have to grow food. Cause I am really that person. Like, listen, it's been a struggle anyways. Me breaking into vegan and then being a single parent being vegan. Yes. Too. it's hard so it's hard even knowing all this and, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean to know what you know but then you're like but I gotta eat too right and that's yeah. it can get crazy yeah. I was there I was a single parent for eight years so I completely understand it's yeah. trying, to, trying eat. to do all of that trying to eat right yeah crazy. see that <clears throat> all the way down from you know people don't understand like when it comes to like our health like with cancer, you know, like with family, when I had family members like dying and going to the hospital and hearing that, that speech after about the third time of, of, of hearing, oh yeah, we're going to change the diet, we're going to do this. I'm like, man, I'm like, like, man, you the third, this is the third time I heard this. Like, why, why is it that this wasn't something that was told way back when? Because it's like, right. I'm related to all these people. So eventually, I'm going to be laying there too and you're going to be hitting me it. with the same speech or hitting my family with the same speech and we're making decisions yeah. on you know, if we want to keep them here and all that, I'm like, I'm not trying to go through that. I'm going to go ahead right. and whatever advice you're giving now, I'm going to implement that now. I'm going to throw the first yes. punch. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I even heard it, it plays a, a part in fertility issues. Yes, major. I've yes. never even realized that. You wouldn't mind kind of share a little bit about that. It's not even so much diseases that are hereditary. It's the way of eating. Yes. It's more hereditary. You know, if yes. grandma and them cook like that, your mama cook like that, you cook like that. And it just, and so now we think we have a family of, oh, we get heart disease. No, right. y'all all eat the same. Yes. You know? Right. And I, heard that, and I was like, when I, when I heard that, I was like, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. they tried to scare us and thinking, because grandma had this, oh, we could potentially have I got to get it. Right. Like her. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, I, and I kind of believe in that. I don't know if that's true for sure, but I believe in it. No, it is true. I um, mean, um, well, in me learning about that in school, yeah. it's definitely true because okay. that's, how, that's how a lot of um, stuff gets, like, you know, getting passed on. 